Well, good good day, good day to everybody. I uh, wanted to just jump on here, y'all, and let you know that if you are really, really, really excited and you really, really, really want financial freedom and you really, really want to leave a legacy for your family and you really, really want to get out of that J-O-B, life does not give you what you want. Please understand this. But life gives you what you fight for. So question, what are you fighting for? You have to have a big why, right? My why was my children, my husband, and legacy. I think that's enough. And life is not going to give you, if you wanted to be free in life, to be with your family. Life is not going to give you more finances. Ah, if that's what you want. Life is not going to give you what you want, okay? But life will give you whatever you fight for. Please understand this. And there is no one that is greater. There is no one that is better. There is no one that can even compete against us. You know why? Because financial freedom lives here. And uh, I, I want to share this with you. I believe that one of the biggest problems that we have in life is fear. Fear keeps us away. We get excited. We have a great momentum. We are ready to make a change. We, we say, yes, yes, we want to do it. And then fear pops up. It pops up. And when it pops up, you accept it. And now you waver. And now you don't know what to do. And now you're not sure. And now you don't know if you can do it. That's fear. Guys, please listen. Fear. The Bible says, if you are a believer, you're going to believe it. If you're not, I can't help you. Okay? But the Bible says that fear is not of God. The Bible says that God has not given us or you. I'm talking to you right now if you're listening to this. God has not given you the spirit of fear. See, I, I, I don't know if I could do this. I, I don't know if I got time. I don't, I don't know. If I, if I want to, I, I, I don't know who's going to join me. I don't know who's going to be with me. Stop the nonsense and stop walking in fear. Walk by faith. This is why God's word reminds us that we must have faith. Do you know what pleases God is not the way you talk, not the way you walk, not what you hope for, but faith? Listen. Listen. Not what you dream. What, what are you hoping for, man? What are you hoping for? You know, we can only help you while we are breathing. We can only help you because if you decide to, to be helped. We can only help you if you say yes. We can only help you if you do what is needed next. We can only help you if you follow the instructions that's being told. What's the difference with everybody else making it? And what's the difference with you not making it? Faith versus fear. Uh, you know, it's interesting that we serve a God and we believe in this God and we talk about God and we say God is with us and we say we can do all things through Christ. Really? Can you really do all things through Christ? Can you really? Do you really believe what you speak? Do you really believe in the God that you serve? I, I saw something the other day and and and, and I said, man, if everybody that's in the kingdom, uh, if everybody that's in the kingdom come together and stop acting funny and stop acting prideful and stop being you and stop trying to be big and stop trying to show off and stop trying to have your own, you know what? The kingdom will dominate on this earth if you humble yourself and you do what God has chosen you to do. He wants us to be dominating this earth. He has given us power and dominion. I'm going to leave that right there. But I want to talk to you. You, the one that is saying, you know, I, I wish there's a better way. You know, I wish that I, I, I'm so tired and, and tired of being tired. I, I, I want to get rid of this job. I, I want to be able to be free. I want to leave a legacy for my children. I know there is more out there. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. So what you're going to do about it? The next step you're going to take, text this number, 770-882-6327. I can only get to you, thank God for, for YouTube and, and, and um, uh, Facebook and, and all these different social medias and TikTok, TikTok. Your clock is ticking. What are you going to do for your family? When your 
family is gone, when you are gone, as a matter of fact, what is your children left with? The least we can do as a mother, and I'm going to talk to mothers today, forget talking about daddies right now because I'm not a father, but I will talk about moms. The least that you can do is tell your husband there is a better way and let him understand that you are here to help him to be successful and to succeed and to leave a legacy for your children, y'all children. That's the least that y'all can do. You got to go think about it. What are you thinking about? You're broke. You got to go pray about it. What do you got to pray about? God already told you he has given you power and dominion. Uh, I got to go ponder on it. What you got to go ponder on? You are walking in fear. So I wanted to leave this with you today. Get the fear out of your mind. Get the fear out of your heart. Get the fear out of your mouth. Whatever you speak is what you're going to have. If you say yes, let's go. If you say no, then I understand. But I will respect you more if you speak the truth. And you know the Bible says that the truth will set you free. We are only here to help people. We do not think about ourselves. We are thinking about you and your family. But are you thinking about you and your family? We want you and your family to be free. But do you want you and your family to be free? Your children is crying out for heaven's sake. They don't have you. You, the job has you. Your husband don't have you. The job has you. What are you going to do? Are you going to dominate? Or are you going to walk in fear? I believe you with this. And I want you to share this with somebody. If you don't want it, fine. But share it with somebody who will. There's people that is out there crying out for another way. And there is a better way. There is another way. We are the number one way. Will you keep this to yourself and be selfish? Or will you share it with the world and be selfless? I look forward, hopefully, to speak with you. I hope you listen to this message, but you don't just listen with your air. You take action with your heart.